Inspired by curiosity was this 200-foot mural dedicated at PS328 in New York City. Red Road to Mars was created by New York City Arts staff, interns, and volunteers. City Arts brings children and youth together with professional artists to create public art. Through this creative process, the children are addressing civic and social issues. They connect with the children in New York and around the world. This creative process transforms the communities and their own lives. My idea was to bring the voices of our children to the walls of New York. The City Arts mostly works in the five boroughs of New York. However, with our program Young Minds Build Bridges that we started after 9-11, we reach out to the international community and connecting them. This is not just an art project limited to New York City. This is a global art initiative. The fact that their artwork will be connected with artwork from students from Africa or South America and to create this huge artistic display of what peace represents to them and to their communities and to their lives it would be very beneficial. They'd be able to just connect to the ideas that our other students are, are learning and presenting through their artwork as well. I wanted them to be a part of this huge global initiative. Tell I must congratulate you for what you've got and done here because this is the kind of thing which sends a powerful message that we can live together, work together, and do fun things together. Peace. The world has it, but scarcely. Most want violence and have bloodlust, but some are calm and collected amidst this chaos. Peace. Just peace. My head. A peaceful world is a place where nobody is discriminated against and everybody is treated equally. So I think we're all one of the same. I saw the excitement of Zippy Van Heim, and I think only with such an enthusiasm one could connect uh, young people all around uh, the world by arts. Uh, peace is the very basic idea of the European Union, and me as the chair of the Environment Committee, of course, uh, my eye was catching uh, the uh, pieces uh, dealing with climate change. We have already created six global peace walls in six countries, from New York to Pakistan, Israel, United Kingdom, Germany, and Spain. The seventh wall next year will be created in Belgium with the EU Parliament. Our exhibition traveled to 23 countries and Pieces for Peace workshops took place in 100 three countries. Our goal is to reach all the 193 countries under the UN flag. When I was 13 years old, Tippi came into my class for the second time and was like, this time we're going to do something even bigger. We're going to build the fifth world peace wall from City Arts. Over the next few months, my friends and I, the two amazing artists who still support me to this day, students from different schools, teachers, and everybody who walked by really, built this beautiful wall behind us. <laughs> when Tippi asked us kids, what does the peace wall mean to you? Many things came to our minds. Besides its beauty, creativity, and spirit, it sends a message to me. More than 50 years ago, the Berlin Wall divided the city. We as kids never experienced this wall of war, but our answer to this wall of war is a wall of peace. For me, this wall is a connection to other countries and cultures. We are now a part of this great community. On this wall, we see a bridge to the future that connects the youth around the world for peace. We hope it will be a future of peace for all youth around the world. It's up to us. <laughs>